Have you ever pondered why faith in God is so essential? Faith, in its essence, is more than a simple belief. It's a profound trust, a deep-seated confidence in the divine plan that God has mapped out for us. This faith isn't a blind leap into the unknown, but rather a conscious choice we make to trust in the wisdom and guidance of a higher power. Let's consider the words of Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. These words beautifully encapsulate the concept of faith. It is our hope and assurance, a beacon of light in the vast expanse of life's uncertainties. Faith allows us to perceive God's existence and purpose beyond our physical senses. It enables us to see with our heart and soul, rather than just our eyes. Faith, therefore, becomes our guiding light in the journey of life. The Bible, the sacred text of Christianity, is full of verses emphasizing the significance of faith. It serves as a constant reminder of the importance of believing even when we cannot see. Consider the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 24. It says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. This verse highlights the power of faith. It's not just about asking for what we want or need, it's about truly believing that we have already received it. Faith, in this context, is not merely hope, it is conviction. It's the deep-seated belief that our prayers are not just heard, but answered. Next we turn to the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Here we find, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This verse underscores that faith is not an inherent trait, but something that comes to us. It is nurtured and nourished by hearing the word of God. It's through the divine scriptures, the stories, the parables, and the teachings that our faith takes root and grows. The more we immerse ourselves in the word of God, the more our faith blossoms. Lastly, let's discuss James chapter 2 verse 26, which states, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Here the scripture reminds us that faith is not a static state of belief. It's not something we hold in our hearts and minds alone. Faith is dynamic. It's alive. It's an active engagement with the world around us, driven by our belief in God. It's about putting our faith into action through our deeds. It's about living our faith daily, by serving others, showing kindness and acting in accordance with God's word. These verses remind us that faith is not a passive state but an active process of believing, hearing and working in God's name. It's a journey that requires courage, commitment and above all trust in the divine plan. So, why does God require faith from us? Let's circle back to our key points. Faith is not merely about belief, it's much more than that. Faith is about trust and surrender to God's will. It's about a profound understanding that we are not in control but rather, a part of a grand design. We are threads in an intricate tapestry, woven by the hand of the divine. In essence, faith is a powerful tool. It enables us to perceive God's presence in our lives, to feel His guiding hand even in the most mundane moments. It urges us to act, not according to our own whims and desires, but according to His purpose. Faith is not about seeing to believe, it's about believing to see. It's about recognizing the divine in the ordinary, the miraculous in the mundane. In the end, faith is our heart's response to God's love and grace. It's the bridge that connects us to Him, allowing us to experience His divine presence and purpose in our lives.